on the floor of the Venezuelan National Assembly. The opposition capitalised on its majority to make its point loud and clear. Special presidential powers to deal with a spiralling crisis were unconstitutional. The opposition leader even issuing this bold ultimatum. Si Maduro quiere aplicar este decreto, que vaya preparando los tanques de guerra. Que vaya sacando los aviones de guerra y los tanques a la calle. Porque va a tener que aplicarlo por la vía de la fuerza. He's urging Venezuelans to take part in more nationwide protests today, which he hopes will lead to a recall referendum that would force Maduro from office. The under pressure president threatening the very existence of the opposition dominated National Assembly. La Asamblea Nacional de Venezuela perdió vigencia política. Es cuestión de tiempo para que desaparezca. Speaking to foreign media in Caracas, he again blamed his country's problems on a US-led conspiracy and accused Washington of sending in a spy plane last week. Pero sobre Venezuela se estamos montando un escenario de violencia para justificar una intervención extranjera de carácter militar. In a more than 40-minute speech, he didn't mention the crippling inflation, power cuts and rampant crime, nor the huge queues for food and medicine. Todavía no hemos encontrado donde conseguir un arroz, una pasta, una mantequilla, que darle a mis hijos para comer. Ya estoy cansada de esta situación. Maduro has struggled to garner popular support ever since he took over from his mentor, the late President Hugo Chavez. He hasn't been helped by the dramatic collapse in the oil price. Ashley Steele, SBS World News.